In a Fox 23 exclusive, we received surveillance video of a Tulsa County detention officer accused of beating an inmate with a radio. Take a look. We received this video from the sheriff's office. Fox 23 first told you Tuesday that Samson Adida J turned himself in for assault. Fox 23's JJ Burton also talked with an inmate who witnessed the entire thing. He's live this afternoon with what the witness says led to that alleged assault. JJ. Uh, that inmate says that this was all over a tray during lunchtime in the jail. Now he says that he was standing behind the uh, the other the other inmate and the detention officer when all this went down. Here he is explaining what he saw. And the DO immediately started getting aggressive and said, "You don't know who I am," and looked like he reached for a taser and hit the guy in the stomach. And then uh, the the inmate backed off, put his hands up, and then the the DO pulled his mic, his radio out, and literally started hitting him in the collarbones. Now, again, you can take another look at this video. Let's come look at your screens and check this out. You can see this all go down in this video. Now, the, uh, the again, the inmate we talked to says this was, that he believes that the other inmate started the argument with Samson Adita J, but from what he saw, he says Adita J is the one who got physical. The sheriff's office is investigating this, and the uh, officials are not commenting any further on this because it's an ongoing investigation, but they say this all happened on October 12th, and a DJ turned himself in on the 17th. He was first placed on paid administrative leave, but now he's on unpaid leave. We did talk with the uh, sheriff's office about what we heard from that former inmate, the guy you just heard talking about his statements, and they did confirm that he did give them a written statement about what he saw. Also, we found out that a DJ started with the sheriff's, uh, with the detention, the jail there, uh, back on uh, July of this year. Reporting live, covering news that matters. J.J. Burton, Fox 23 News.